When you are a fearless leader, focusing on what matters most is paramount to you doing a good job. That's why you have to create a powerful and compelling vision for you and your team to align to or align with. We all want to deliver a great customer experience and connect with and serve those customers that matter most to us and have that connection matter to them as well. But how can we, when new products are popping up, uh, when there are new challenges and obstacles and shutdowns and opens and all of these things continuing to present themselves, these little adversities, how can we do that? when we are trying to set new goals. How can we keep up with this new reality? If you are going to succeed in this time of tumult and chaos and uncertainty, as a leader and as a team, we have to create a focal point that is more crucial now than ever before. The problem is there is an enormous amount of competition vying for your team's attention. But when you or your team faces a crucible, laser-like focus becomes even more important than ever. You've got this gigantic weight on your shoulders right now, but you still have to be able to find a way to not only keep your eye on the ball, but to keep your team focused as well. People are relying on you uh, and your belief systems about what is possible and your ability to accurately identify what is under your span of control can provide you an intangible level of protection from these extreme curveballs that keep attacking our systems. The choice is always yours. How will you respond? How will you react to the obstacles that keep getting thrown your way? Your ability to focus and your team's ability to focus and then to focus on what matters most and on what's under your span of control is a predictor of success and remaining relevant down the road, both short-term and long-term. So in order to serve your customers better and faster and to create quality relationships and to maintain those relationships while you remain relevant, you need to cut through the noise to gain focus and clarity and your teammates' attention. The clearer the vision, the easier it is to say no to those things that don't help you achieve your goals. That vision then decides for you. It cuts out all the unnecessary and imposes actually beneficial limitations. It helps you and your team focus on what matters. What can we do? Start with the big picture. Take a quick inventory. As a leader, think about all those things right now that do not contribute to a successful end state. And if it doesn't support your goals right now, get rid of it. What do you see? Raise it up. What do you see from that 30,000 foot level? Sometimes go a little higher, maybe even 80,000 feet. First, are you alive? Yes, you are. Okay, then you're still in the game. And I'm not being sarcastic here. When your world is crumbling around you right now because of a death in the family, COVID, job loss, uh, maybe divorce, a collapse of your business, tomorrow doesn't even seem tolerable, let alone getting through today. But if you're alive, there's reason to hope. Then when you feel as though you can breathe again and maybe even make it till lunchtime, step it down a little bit, zoom in on what really matters to you. Get to understand and write down your core values, your purpose. Get a post-it note, right? And a fat Sharpie marker and write it down. What are the most important things right now to you today? Is it family? fitness, finances, work, your community, self-development. Things might not look so great right now from where you're sitting, but if you can embrace this new reality and look at what is under your span of control, you're on your way to making a comeback. Now, analyze what's under your span of control, your part or your role in this new reality, and then plan that course of action. What are those next steps? Focus your time and your attention on only those few things. When you have too many priorities, it's easy to become overwhelmed, overloaded, and feel desperate and hopeless. Focus on what matters. As we say in fighter, avi fighter aviation, if you lose sight, you lose the fight. If you lose sight of the most important work you should be doing, you'll lose the fight guaranteed. So if you can continue to remind yourself 
and your team of those most important things, you'll be able to provide some stability and lead through this turbulent time to a place that's more valuable from where we actually are today. But you have to be able to focus, you have to be able to identify and then focus on that span of control.